So let's talk about wrinkles. So many people um, are applying all sorts of anti-aging creams, lotions, cleansers to rub off all the dead skin to hopefully have this new skin be replenished. But let's first dive into exactly what happens as you age in relationship to what happens with your skin. So number one, you have a loss of elastin fibers. Elastin is a protein that helps to keep the tone of the skin there. So for example, if you were to have uh, some type of elastic protein that's overstretched, that's what happens as you age. So you lose that rubber band effect, okay? Number two, you actually have an overall loss of collagen. Not necessarily because you're not eating enough protein or collagen, it's because of growth hormone. And that's the next one. Growth hormone uh, has everything to do with preserving proteins. So as you lose growth hormone as you age, you lose that capacity to make collagen. Now also realize collagen needs vitamin C. So you also need vitamin C from the diet. A couple little side things you need to know about vitamin C. Smoking blocks the absorption of vitamin C. Consuming sugar will block your ability to absorb vitamin C. As you age, you have less retention of moisture. So the skin tends to dry out. And so this is not necessarily just a matter of drinking more water. Just the skin itself has less ability to retain that water. All right, and number six, less able to repair. And there's a lot we can do about this as far as slowing down the process of repair and regenerate. Because you need certain nutrients to help that repair action. And also you have the um, too much damage from sun, right? Take a look at any farmer that's out in the sun for many, many years. I mean, their, their skin is like leather. So too much overexposure of UV radiation from the sun is going to majorly affect your skin. Also too much stress, right, with cortisol. cortisol is a catabolic hormone. It tends to break down proteins. Too much insulin, as in too much sugar, will oxidize and age your skin as well. Smoking, I already covered that. There's just a lot of oxidation, a lot of premature aging going on. And of course, alcohol. Your skin is not just your skin. It's the reflection of your organs. Not just your liver, but the colon, the stomach, the gallbladder, the whole thing. The other point I want to bring up is um, this cleansing process. A lot of women are overdoing it with the cleansers, okay? So they're scrubbing their skin, they're sterilizing their skin by removing this layer of microbiome that should be on the skin. And so now it gets red, it doesn't heal. I'm gonna recommend you really focus on your diet, okay? This is something that's very, very underestimated as far as putting attention on it. You want foods that are high in flavonoids, carotenoids, to cofferols. These are antioxidants in our foods. Vitamin A, vitamin D, and vitamin E. These are fat soluble vitamins. But guess what? You need a good liver and gallbladder so you can make enough bile to absorb these. So one very important uh, point I want to bring up is it's not just about eating foods that are high in fat like to give you these fat soluble nutrients. It's being able to break down the fats with bile having a healthy gallbladder and liver, and then emulsifying these fats and then absorbing them. So um, if you don't have a gallbladder, if you're missing bile, that could be the reason why you're not getting these key nutrients into the skin. Vitamin C is very, very important. We already mentioned that. Manganese, magnesium, potassium, selenium, zinc are the minerals. Why do we need the minerals? For hydration as electrolytes, as well as cofactors to help build up the proteins in your skin. Omega-3 fatty acids, very, very, very vital uh, to act as an anti-inflammatory versus the omega-6, which I've talked about a lot in my other videos. So these are the foods that I would recommend consuming more of. Bell peppers, especially red ones, okay? Because the red bell peppers have way more vitamin C than the green bell peppers. Avocados are loaded with phytonutrients. Pomegranate seeds, loaded with a lot of things, especially phytonutrients, and it has one phytonutrient that helps support collagen. I actually love pomegranate seeds. Watercrest, it's a type of cruciferous, I did a video on this, that has some very unique properties to support skin health. Blueberries, don't consume the dry blueberries, consume the organic blueberries that are not freeze-dried because they're lower in 
uh, sugars and uh, have a lot of great properties for skin. Also make sure that you're consuming large salads that are nutrient dense every single day and fatty meats, fatty fish, and seafood. A couple additional really important points. Make sure you're doing periodic prolonged fasting. In addition to regular intermittent fasting, if you want really nice skin, you need to be doing fasting. Fasting helps recycle old damaged proteins. So the more fasting you do, the better your skin is going to be. Keep in your exercise for circulation and also keep in your sleep so you can keep your cortisol in check as well. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.